Welcome, folks, to another episode of What Kind of Fun Can We Have in Adobe Illustrator? And today's fun is going to be working with the envelope distort features. And those are under the object menu. Envelope distort, and we have three different types. Make with warp, with mesh, and with top object. I've started off with some text that I've applied a nice little appearance to here in my appearance panel, stroke and a fill. And I want to warp this using the make with warp envelope distort. The warp options come up in a dialog box. We have a style drop down menu in which we can choose different styles of warp. I can't apply multiple styles of warp to my object. I only get to choose the one that I select here. And then I've got lots of options that I can bend horizontally and vertically and distort as well to really add some more zing or wow to my content. I'm going to click OK. Now, once we've gone in and we've applied our warp, we can always edit our warp in our control bar. If you don't have your control bar up, go under Window and get back your control. You'll notice when I select my envelope distort or my warp, I can go back into the style and I have the drop down menu here in my control bar to begin to select different options. And I can also go back to my horizontal and vertical, my bend and my distortion here, and I can still edit my content. Now, if I'd like to go back in and I would like to type some more or I would like to edit this word, in the control bar, I have two boxes. I have my one that's got a little kind of like this little mesh and the one that looks a little star. This is the actual envelope or editing our entire overall shape. This is editing the contents. So if I click on my edit contents, that little star, I could then go in with my type tool and I could edit my type actually, go back into my selection tool and you can see that it will then keep my warp that I have here or my distort and I can edit that text because it's still active text. Going back to my control bar and clicking back on the envelope, the edit envelope button, I get back to my ability to go in and edit my content using the style that I choose, arc. That's how I can go in. I can edit my warp, but also edit my text if it is active text to warp. If I go back under the object menu under the envelope distort, I can always reset this back to its original, or I can release it. And if I release it, it's going to then release it back to my content, but it also gives me my existing envelope as a separate shape. And this may be a little bit odd because sometimes it covers your entire artwork and it looks like your artwork goes away, but it's actually just the shape or the warp that is being produced once you release that content. Object envelope distort, make with warp, have some fun, and you can do this with any type of shape, active type, whatever creation that you have. The next, we're going to select a series of lines and I'm going to choose Object Envelope Distort. I'm going to choose Make with Mesh. And a mesh allows me to create a grid structure with rows and columns over my object where each intersection point can now be an editable point. I'm going to click OK. To edit these points, I'm going to go back over to my direct selection tool and the shortcut for that is the letter A. And then I'm going to activate those points where those horizontal and verticals cross. And I now have the ability to go and pull and move those points to begin to distort or warp with my mesh. If I click on any one of those points and I hit delete, it will simply delete those two cross section points and will return my content back to what it was without my warp lines on there. An interesting thing here too is when you click on these items, you'll notice that we also get little pull handles. Well, these pull handles can also be pulled so that you can now create curves on your object. So we're not just editing the actual anchor point, but we're actually editing the handles too in order to get this warp. If I go back to my selection tool and select my object again, again, up in my control bar, I have the ability to add more rows and columns or take away rows and columns. And I can go back in and I can edit my content. And here, if I'd like to change the color of my lines or I'd like to change the weight of those lines, I can by clicking on the edit content and then go back to edit envelope and work with the warp. I'm gonna try the same thing with my fire hydrant. 
I'm going to select my fire hydrant, object, envelope distort, make with mesh. I'm going to apply a mesh onto this and then go back to my direct selection tool and I'm going to click on any one of those crossing points and I'm going to make this fire hydrant look kind of sad and droopy. You know, it's had a tough time and I'm just going to kind of make it slightly distorted so it looks a little old and tired and a little bit crunchy. Pretty cool. And there is my entire shape. Instead of trying to draw all this with all the curves here, I'm going to create the artwork and then I can go in and I can slightly distort. So that's kind of nice. Now I can always reset this, basically reset the envelope shape, which will get me back to what I need to start off with or what I did start off with. It just resets the envelope shape if I've gone a little bit too far and I'd like to just get it back to where it was. Now the third one is a very unique one and this envelope distort is going to be make with top object. Now make with top object is kind of fun. I've got some circles here and then I've drawn another path or shape above it and I'm going to change the color of this stroke so we can see and I'm going to place this and I'm going to bring it to the front so if it's not in front of the other object we're going to go into object arrange bring to front and then I'm going to select all of my content so I've got my circles and then I've got my shape in front or top object hence the object envelope distort make with top object. So because I have this kind of tapered rectangle on top of my circles, I select all the circles and my tapered rectangle. I choose make with top object and that's going to fit it into that particular shape. Now again, I have the ability to go back in and I edit my content so I could change the color of my content without having to release what it is that I've done. And I can go back in to edit my shape and I can resize the shape but I could also go into my direct selection tool and I could edit my shape as well which would then allow me to edit those shapes and it conforms to that shape. So I'm going to show you the same thing here but I've got kind of an outline of a fish and I'm going to put this fish on top of my word fish here so I'm going to go to our object arrange bring to front. So this is my top object. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to go under object envelope distort, make with top object, and it then takes this and warps it right into my fish. So these are really simple things that you can do with the envelope distort, but they're so much fun. And remember, you can always go back in and you can always edit these shapes that you do your warp with. And you got your pull handles so we can have a little bit more fun with our fish. And this is how you can go in, create virtually anything. If I'm done with this and I'd like to now turn this into something editable other than still being in my envelope distort, what I want to do is go into the object menu under envelope distort and I want to expand. Expand is going to take the distort off of this and it's going to now give me the end result of what my distort was. So now I just have solid lines here. There is no more mesh on here. If I do with top object, object, envelope, distort, expand, then it will just simply expand those into that shape without my object around it. And here with my warp, if I go under object, envelope, distort, expand, then it expands it into outlines, no longer editable text, and no longer in warp. So I hope that was fun. Give it a shot and you, know, you can pretty much warp anything with those three options. So have some fun.